Kari's on her way to meet with clients Cheryl and her brother Dwight. Their mom recently passed away and they need to liquidate everything in her home. Hi, Kari. Hi. Their mom was a collector of furniture from many different eras, so Kari will have her hands full with this packed house. I have to get the house on the market. And you want to sell everything in the house? That's correct. Okay. We hope you can organize this mess. It just, it's just overwhelming. That's why you called me. That's, That's right. right. This is my parents' uh, formal dining room. It really is a great table with great details. A lot of memories. A lot of full tummies. <laughs> <laughs> this Rococo table is from the 1850s. The style is typical of the period with a focus on ornate design. This fancy table could bring top dollar at the sale. This is the other favorite gathering place in the house. Love it. They got the table in 1970, I believe. It's very different from the other table. You know, that was coming from the time of big overstuffed furniture, so it's the sleek, modern designs. This is going to sell in a hot minute because of the color and because of the condition. This is the blue room. Yeah, this is kind of a neat thing, too. I don't know where they got it, but I think it's old. This looks like a wax portrait. There's actually a mark on the back. It's Sir Walter Raleigh. We wondered That's who awesome. that was, didn't we? Yeah, that's really cool. Well, and here, you just turn over, and there it is. These can actually be worth quite a bit of money. Wow. So this is a little library room. This is where Mom keeps her collection of salt and pepper shakers. She's been collecting since the early 50s. She definitely has some interesting ones. Okay, come on. OK, the garage. Looks like we have our work cut out for us here. Yep, a little bit of everything. This is cool. You know what this is from? Not a clue. Do you, Dwight? No. Old tractor seed of some sort. It's wide girth, too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I offer you 35 bucks for it? I want to make it into something really cool. Sold. Sounds good. <laughs> awesome. The first sale of the estate sale. I bought that tractor seat for $35, and I'm going to turn it into something really amazing. What are you thinking about your expectations for the sale? To have an empty house after we're done. Well, I'm going to make you some money along the way as well. Kari has to get over to her warehouse to attend to business. Her storage space is jam-packed with consignment items and treasures she's found over the years, but she's expecting a huge shipment soon, so she has a plan to make some room. In this business, it's really easy to accumulate, so I've got stuff everywhere. I want to clear out so I can bring some fresh merchandise in. With a busy schedule, she's running both sales at the same time and has put Mo and Gretchen in charge of getting the space ready. I moved quite a bit of furniture today. I'm a little girl, but I'm getting some muscles from it. I don't know if you could tell. How's it going? We're doing liquidation prices, right? Well, this is all bleak that all needs to be researched, so I don't want to sell it incorrectly. OK. This is the body kins is not priced correctly. I'm really, really particular about my pricing, so I'm going around just doing some price checking just to make sure we're on par for a warehouse sale. All right, looks good. Otherwise, Clean sell it all, Gretchen. I'll give it my best effort. All right. I would love to make at least two to three thousand dollars at this warehouse sale. With the warehouse under control, Kari heads back over to the estate sale where her team is getting ready. They've got a big task ahead: pricing and sorting the bedroom, a packed garage, and a basement. In each room, there are a bunch of boxes that have been closed up for years. It's kind of cool. Each one will have to be unpacked and every treasure displayed for sale. Check this out. The pocket fortune teller. Ask a yes or no question about the future. Uh, do I need a vacation? <laughs> Don't, Don't count, count on, on it. it. <laughs> it's a bingo set. Not it just rolled out. It wasn't like tucked in or anything. Will Haas break something else? Signs point to yes. <laughs> this is a fun room. I hope people will appreciate this. Oh, they totally will. There's tons of people that love vintage clothing. It's totally 50s. And this fabulous green furniture. Yeah, it's very green. I'm thinking the little chest on chest dresser, 250 for the sale. The little vanity. Probably 150. Bright, vibrant colors are really in right now, so I don't think people will be turned off by that green. I kind of like it. There is a ton in this house. We're going to use every square inch of this home. I think the 70s furniture and the sweet green bedroom set will sell in no time. But I really hope I get a buyer for that stunning Rococo table. My estimate is somewhere in the eight to $10,000 range. My commission will be 30% with four expenses. It's the morning of both sales, but at the warehouse, things have not gotten off to a good start. The display tent has blown over. 
Oh my God. The whole thing flipped. Oh, and the trailer's under there too. Oh. Oh my God. Is this from the storm last night? This is a pretty serious issue. If we don't have a tent, we can't bring some of the furniture out of the warehouse. It's a huge crisis. We got about 15 minutes left before the sale starts, so we're gonna have to really bust butt to get this done. Kari is gonna freak out. Over at the estate sale, customers are already lining up. If there's no numbers, you get trampled at the door. <laughs> I'm here from Texas, and I'm ready to shop. Let's go. Let's open. <clears throat> Let them in. Come on in. Come on in. You can't leave empty-handed. That's the rule. Wow. OK, so the bedroom set is from the 60s. It's marked at 700 for everything. So can you go down to just the dresser? You would want just the dresser. It's marked 250. Yeah, you know, I have a couple hundred to spend, and that's it. The dresser itself, I could do 175. So if you guys want it, now would be your chance to grab it. So what are you thinking? We'll so what are you take thinking? the dresser. You'll take the dresser! Yay! Are you happy? Because it is for you, right? Yeah, All right. Good. good job, you guys. It's green. I love green. This should be perfect for me. It's a good start, and I hope we can keep it up, because I have a lot to sell today in both places. Come on in. How are you? Kari has her hands full juggling two sales, one at her warehouse and her regular estate sale. Now she's come to check on her warehouse, but there's a problem. Put some time, we can yeah. get ready. Um. Okay um, then. Wait, I don't have time for this. Everybody's scrambling around doing the best they can, just trying to get everything ready so we can open the doors. It's stress overload while this warehouse sale is being set up. The team's efforts pay off, and the tent is finally set up, and just in time because the customers have arrived. All right, folks, come on in. We want to sell it all. Make some offers. So I came to this sale because it was a Kari sale. It's kind of eclectic, and you find all kinds of things. So this is a beautiful Moroccan tea table. It was just what I was looking for. With the warehouse sale up and running, Kari needs to get back to her estate sale to see what's happening. Conducting the warehouse sale while I'm conducting an estate sale was a bit intense, but I'm always up for a challenge. 200 bucks for that pile. Fabric. How about 275? Call it a deal. Sounds good to me. Perfect. Sold. Small items are selling, but Kari is worried that the furniture is being ignored. I think that there's so much in this house, it's really hard to focus on the furniture. He has. I want you to get the desk out of the basement and bring it up and put it in the driveway. It's not getting any action down there. Let's bring it up and create like a mid-century modern 50s vignette. Only 50s stuff. Just create a little time capsule right in the driveway with it. And sell it. Use your creative skills. Gotcha. All right, let's do it. In Kari's experience, creating vignettes really helps the furniture stand out and get sold. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. Kari's asked Janelle to do a 1960s vignette with the green furniture, and Natalie is going to do a 1970s one with the kitchen table set. I think this table is so cool. It's going to be a focal point as soon as they walk into the kitchen. It'll be interesting to see what they come up with. Oops. Looking at Hass's vignette, it's not very pleasing to the eye. It's just terrible. All I know is the 50s was a long time ago, and those look old, so I hope it's right. Good. Inside, customers are still rooting through the small stuff. Flowers, they're six. Can I get these? There we go. Just hold on to those. We belong to a salt and pepper shaker club, and Emma was very excited today when she saw all the salt and pepper shakers. All right, let's. What is, are you starting a collection? Mm -hmm. Very cute, the little kangaroo. Excellent. Thank you. The horse. I'm going to do the horse. There you go. Thank you, Kari. You're welcome. Enjoy them. What happened to my vignette? You. My books and my globe? <laughs> it's a desk. Ugh. That's not, that's, hold on, that's a desk. Take this what do you back. Do? Go get makeup or something, put it over there. It's a mirror. I'll tell you what, it's on. I'm gonna sell that, and you're gonna be crying over here with your globe and books. We will see. Are you digging my fondue <laughs> totally digging party? It. I think everything's from the 70s. You did good. 
I like it. It all goes. Now sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting this sold. I'll do whatever it takes, Kari. Dude. Sail, sail, sail. Gotta no. sail, sail, sail. What you doing? I didn't think Haas could squeeze into it, so I sail, sail, sail. Top that. <laughs> Janelle's vignette, her costume, she always does a good job with that. What have you been doing? Your vignette looks a little messy. This doesn't go here. This is like 1979. This is the only thing in the house from the 50s. You could have done a little better here. Kind of threw it together. Kari came out, didn't like it. Kind of bummed. I gave Haas a fail for the vignette. There's stuff upstairs and downstairs. downstairs. This is really cool. Isn't it cute? Gorgeous. I like it, yeah. It's a good deal. Uh, I'm just looking right now. OK, let us know. We'd All love right. to sell it. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate good it. Good stuff. Great stuff is right. It's 5 o'clock. It's time to lock up and count the cash. We had a ton of foot traffic today, and it resulted in $5,718. The estate sale was busy, but the same can't be said for the warehouse. It does need a little love, I know. And we can negotiate and see what we can do. That's all I'm going to offer. OK. OK, well, I'm sorry we couldn't make a deal. Okay. Okay. My sales today sucked. I'm not going to lie. I think people are kind of lowballing me on prices. And I don't feel good about it. I expected a bigger line. I expected more traffic. Kind of disappointed. Meanwhile, Kari's at her workshop with her final project of the day. She dug out this old tractor seat at Cheryl and Dwight's house, and now she has plans to turn it into a stylish stool. The plan is to attach it on to this bar stool so I can use the base. I'm going to salvage this for later. I want to rough it up so the primer sticks to the metal. I think we're ready for some color. I've chosen a key lime green. It's a really mod color. It's going to make the industrial seat pop. I'm going to remove the green paint from the tractor seat. Check this out. This is so sweet. I couldn't imagine painting this. I love the way this is looking. It's industrial. It's modern. It's awesome. This was a real tractor seat that was just sitting in someone's garage. It's been repurposed into a beautiful, modern, adjustable vintage stool. I'm in love with it. It is fantastic. With business booming, Kari has been handling a warehouse sale and an estate sale at the same time. She still has a mountain to move if she's going to reach her goals. But before Kari can start day two of the sale, she's on an early morning mission with Cheryl and Dwight. They've come to get the beeswax portrait valued before they can put it in the sale. Wax portraits, you know, go way back several centuries. Sir Walter Raleigh was a military figure. He was a spy. Does that look like a mass production or a limited? Well, it was something that was produced in the 20th century, made to look earlier. I do believe it is a mass produced piece. When, it, when he started saying it was mass produced, I thought, oh, maybe $25, $50. If you were to sell this, if this were to come up at a sale, this should bring as much as $500. Oh, wow. That's great. That's great. Wow. That's fantastic. So Walter Raleigh's now our best friend. That's right. It's a wonderful high-end item to add to the sale. It's day two of the estate sale, and customers have returned eager to shop. The beeswax portrait has found a sweet spot on the wall. Everything must go. Everything's negotiable. If you put those aside. We have another sale 10 minutes away. If you want a map, there's a map right there. This is a crazy day because I've got the warehouse sale going at the exact same time. I gave Gretchen and Mo a lot of responsibility today. This is from the late Victorian period. Oh, it's it's probably 1875 and about 1890. Yeah. You know that because of the original needlepoint. I am a antique treasure uh, matchmaker, and if I can give them a tidbit of information about that piece, they will care about that piece. Do you love it? Yeah. I love it too. $75 sold? OK. Deal? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Yesterday's sales were disappointing, so I'm dropping by to help get this stuff moving. I need to free up the space. 100 bucks? Can't go that low. How about 150? I, I can do 150 bucks, yeah. It's yours. Thank you. Excellent. 
I'm the oldest sister and she's the youngest by 20 months and we're best friends and yeah, we and do everything together. <laughs> now this is our usual sister Thank day. You. <laughs> you have it? Yeah. Okay. 100 bucks. Yeah, I think I'd really like to get that one. Excellent. Also, I was looking into that one and the little dresser in the corner. So you've got 100 for the rocker, 50 for this chair, 50 for the dresser. So that's 200 plus three teacups, 230. Thank you. We're making some money today, but the goal is to clear out inventory. There's still a lot of furniture here. I want to make more holes in the warehouse. Back at the sale, Haas has been trying to make amends for his previous vignette disaster. You could have done a little better here. Since I lost to Janelle the first time, uh, I figured I'd come back really strong and actually use my creative side. Did you do this all by yourself? Yes. I even made the lemonade. I'm very, very, very impressed. I don't like to lose. Haas totally stepped up his game. I gave him one vignette as a challenge, and he turned it into three. OK, ladies. Talk to me. I got to sell this. I would like to take this home for $75 would be wonderful. If I could just bump you up a little to $100, do you think that would be fair? So $100 for the nice little chair, the beautiful little thing. $90. 95 and we'll say sold. 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 $95. <laughs> All right, great. It's cute. It's a cute piece. Green's very in this year. Buyer, 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 who wants a dining set? Kitchen set. I have no buyers. It's worth $500. With the new knowledge of its high value, the estate sale may no longer be the right venue for the beeswax portrait. But I'm hoping somebody comes and buys it. I can't believe I haven't had a single person look at that Rococo table. It's a bit pricey for this crowd, but given the quality, it's actually priced to sell. The estate sale still has retro furniture and collectible pieces to sell. And with the warehouse sale going on at the same time, Kari's really got to step up and make some deals to reach her goals. We're selling everything, even the curtains off the windows. Half off, half off, 50%. We've got a nice little rush coming in. I really want to move the big furniture today. That will beef up our total so we can get to our goal. It's got a nice finish on it. Yeah, it's got a nice it's finish well on the top. And we are both antiqueaholics. That's for sure, antiqueaholics. Well, we've been collecting since we got married 36 years ago. And you never know what you're going to find. No. What do you guys think? You want to take it home? I never saw an antique we didn't like. Isn't it gorgeous? This is Coco style, so. 1850s, somewhere in that range, but mm -hmm. it's in beautiful condition. What's Ooh. nice is this table will go in, in a lot, lot of places. Of well, it sounds like so. you've already fallen in love with it. What do you think? It's just, just <laughs> working on the price. <laughs> well, we're asking uh, 2000 We were thinking about 2000 I don't think it can go that low. Family wouldn't be happy with that. Okay. It's beautiful. There's no question about that. I can take a little bit off. Um, I'm thinking more along the lines of like 1600 Well. There's a few other things that we're interested in. OK. What so, else are you interested in? That always sweetens the deal. OK. Um, this guy right here? Yeah. Possibly the desk upstairs. OK. I know exactly which one it is. 550? Probably, yeah. We're thinking more about two and a half on that. What about 350 on that? And then I can maybe work a deal with this at your offer. I'd have to stick closer to the two and a half to help. <laughs> See, that. the trouble is, separate of what it's appraised for, but what things are selling for. Those two drove a hard bargain. They wanted the table, but I also knew that they had a budget. OK, I've got a deal for you. OK. So I'll do 1400 on the table, and then 350 on the desk, and throw in the lamp. So then you'd be 1750 for it all. For oh, all the stuff, huh? OK. Mm -hmm. You came for the table. You got to take it with you. Well, what do you think? Up to you. I guess so. Sounds like Sold. Awesome. Sounds like OK, Thank it's you yours. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. I think that was probably the longest negotiation ever. And that Rococo table, that's a big ticket item. I'm just glad the deal is done. I tried. I started at 1,000 and worked my way up. And my <laughs> yeah. blood pressure kept going up. Yeah.
feed me? It's time to shut down the sale and see how we did. Nice to see you. Hard day, huh? Well, yeah, it's been a long sale. You guys ready for the total? Uh, yes. I hope it's good. We did $8,600. Oh, that's wow. awesome. We did $8,600, but Dwight and Cheryl were really happy with the total, and that makes me happy. <laughs> the wax portrait didn't sell at the sale. Cheryl and Dwight really liked it after they heard how much it was worth. Staying in the family. There wasn't a buyer here for the 1970s dining set, so I'm scooping it up on consignment. I'm sure I'll have the space for it after my big warehouse sale. At the warehouse, Kari's got one last tally to do. The total that we made from the warehouse sale is $2,532. We did good. We hit our goal. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for your hard work. You're welcome. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Let's move it in and close it up.